Hello guys and welcome back to some more Critical Revengeance. Um, in this video, I am going to be showing you all the shrine locations that I have found. I believe that these are all the shrine locations. If I am wrong, please let me know in the comment section below. But before we do start, if you guys are not already, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers before the end of the year and every single subscriber counts. Now with that said, let's continue on with this video. Okay guys, uh, so we are here in the game now and I'll be showing you the location of all the shrines that I have found thus far. Um, I'm gonna start the starting point here for every single location, but yeah, I will show you how to get to each and every shrine. So first shrine is the sword shrine, which you start off with. So what you will do is just follow where I go. So when you get here to the town of Inita, um, you just come up to this rock and this is your shrine. This is the Sword Spirit Shrine, so yeah, pretty chill and it's pretty short to get to, so yeah. Now let's move on to the next shrine. Okay, so the next shrine is the Staff Mage Shrine. So yeah, it's a bit deeper and a bit longer to get to, but all you have to do is follow me and you should be good. So we are here at the mage shrine, yep, the mage spirit, and yeah, that's it. You just go straight basically. So now let's move on to the next spirit. Okay guys, so the next spirit is going to be, I believe, a shaman. I don't know the name of the shrine, I'll just tell you when we get there, but you'll probably see it on screen too, but that's the next shrine we're going to. For this shrine, I do believe you're going to need a mountain key, and the way you get mountain keys is by killing uh, spiky wolves. And I'll show you where you can kill spiky wolves, just momentarily. So this is the spiky wolf location. Uh, someone's fighting it right now, but that will be what you need to kill to get the mountain keys. And apologies of what I said earlier, you need the mountain keys for the other shrines, not the shrine I'm about to show you. So all you have to do is follow me, and you'll be there. So when you get all the way up here, you're going to see this entrance here. This is what you need the mountain key for, but you don't need to go through there. All you have to do is just turn over to this corner and this shrine, the Het Trick Spirit. I hope I'm pronouncing that properly. And yeah, so let's move on to the next spirit. Okay, so the next spirit is the Shield Spirit. So all you have to do is follow me and you'll get there. This is a bit of a tricky one, so I do recommend you keep your eyes on the video.
Okay guys, so for this one you're gonna need the mountain key and you're gonna have to need it equipped it. Uh, so you just equip. You don't use it, you don't do anything with it, you just need it in order to interact with this uh, gateway. You hold E, unlocks. Obviously take some of your key. It should have taken some of my keys, but hey. But yeah, like I said, it's gonna be tricky, so keep on watching the video. You don't wanna get lost here. There is a campfire here if you want, but I'm just going to skip that for now. So what you want to do is skip this opening and follow me here. And as you can see, this is the shield spirit. So... Yeah, I've already gotten uh, some shield levels in, but other than that, yeah. So let's move on to the next spirit. Okay, now time to show you guys the archer slash bow statue. Just follow me, and you'll get there just fine. And this is the archer, the bow spirit, not archer spirit, the bow spirit. So now let's move on to the next shrine. Okay guys, so now I'm going to be showing you the Qatar shrine. And yeah, this is a bit of a tricky one. So make sure you do watch this video throughout before you try to attempt to go to this place. And with that being said, just follow me and you'll get there.
So this is the Qatar Spirit. And yeah. Okay guys, the next shrine is the Dagger Spirit. So follow me because this is quite the bit of a journey and I don't want you guys to get lost or confused. So keep your eyes on the video. So this is the same thing as before. <clears throat> you want to make sure you have mountain key to open up the gate. If you already have opened up the gate before, you don't need to do it um, any time in the current server you're in. If you do rejoin, you're going to have to do it over again. But if you don't rejoin, then you're all set. So just continue and do what I do. And here we are at the Dagger Shrine in Sakura, Sakura Highlands. So, yeah, this is the Dagger Spirit. Um, I haven't really progressed this shrine that much, but... Yeah, I, and I do believe those are all the spirits that I am aware of. As of now, I haven't progressed uh, into the other places of the game. As in that, I mean, like, um, the portal in the base place. I, I'll just show something on screen, but that portal, I haven't gotten the key for that yet, so uh, yeah, I still have to do that. If you guys know of any other shrines, please let me know in the comment section below, but with that said, and if you guys did make it this far into the video, why not comment down shrines? Um, but yeah, with that said, that'll conclude the video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.